and thank you so much for joining us for our midweek devotion. One of my favorite Instagram accounts that I follow is called Live from Snack Time. If you do not follow this account yet, I highly recommend that you do so. It is absolutely hilarious. This account features funny quotes from children that have been submitted by teachers, daycare workers, moms, dads, pretty much anybody that has the opportunity to be around kids. Some of my favorite posts that have shown up recently have been a quote from an anonymous six-year-old that says, if you don't have anything nice to say, just eat something. Good little piece of advice. Or a quote from Anna Grace, who is three, who responded to the question, what do you want to be when you grow up by confidently answering an avocado? Kids tend to say some pretty hilarious things. From interesting pieces of life advice to funny long-term goals, you never know what's going to come out of the mouth of a child. However, in the midst of these funny little comments, kids also tend to say some pretty deep things. One of my favorite aspects of being a DCE is hearing kids express their faith. Kids express their faith in Christ with such confidence and certainty. Kids know that Jesus is their Savior. They know that he has forgiven their sins. They know that they are a child of God and they have the gift of faith that Christ has given them. They know this without doubt, without question, without trying to find ways to fit themselves or their own work into the equation. As adults, we tend to struggle with this a bit more. As adults, we live in a world where we are constantly being judged by our work, by what we have done to add something to the final product. What are we bringing to the table? Whether that's in our workplaces, our homes, or even in our friendships and relationships, we are constantly trying to keep the balance of, am I doing enough? Have I done enough? Have I achieved enough to make this work? But kids live in a different world than us. They aren't being judged by, how much they did to make the family budget work this month. They aren't looked down on if they didn't cook dinner all seven nights of the week. They are being provided for. They're completely dependent on those who are caring for them. And because of that, they have a very simple, pure, amazing view of their faith. They do not try to see how their works, what they've done, if they're good enough. They don't try to fit all of these into the equation of their faith. They are fully confident and fully dependent on the work that Christ has done for them. They get it. They get it in a way that the circumstances that we have as adults make us struggle with it a bit more. In our Bible passage from this past Sunday, from Matthew 18, starting at verse 3, it says, Truly I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. I love hearing kids express their faith. I often tell the children that I work with that they teach me just as much, if not more, than I teach them. Hearing kids express their faith with that confidence, assurance, that knowledge that they know what Christ has done for them and the gift of faith and forgiveness that they have in him helps to remind me of what Christ has done for me. 
helps to strip away all of the mess that the adult world that I have been put into has done to me, trying to make me factor my works into the equation. And it reminds me, it's not about me. It's not about what I've done. It's about what Christ has done for me. So I'm going to encourage you all. I'm going to encourage you to ask a child in your life about faith. Whether it's your children, your grandchildren, your nieces, your nephews, or even if you ask a kid here at St. Paul's on Sunday, ask them about their faith. Ask them who Jesus is. Ask them why is Jesus important? Ask them to teach you. Learn from them. Learn from the confidence and the assurance that they have in what Christ has done for them. And know that Christ has also done that amazing work of forgiveness and given that gift of faith to you too. I hope that you join us this Sunday. We have two indoor worship services, one at 8.30 and one at 10. And we also offer a live stream service at 10 a.m. You can find our live stream on our Facebook or our YouTube at St. Paul's PB. And as you're going on Instagram to follow live from snack time, I also encourage you to follow us on Instagram. You can find us at, at St. Paul's PB. Thank you so much, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.